Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the beautiful Kami Penning. Penning. <laughs> <laughs> she here to lend me her beautiful canvas to create this. I don't know how you call this. It's more a little more glamorous, Dolce Vita. You know, could be anything, but it's more like a more a glamorous movie star look. I hope you enjoy the video as much as we do. We have so much time. We're supposed to film this in a short time, but then we keep laughing, we keep retaking, and it's become like a long day for us. Enjoy the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always start with skincare prep. Today, for all the skincare, I'm going to use a skincare brand from Switzerland. It's called Vermont. And this is an anti aging hair and body care brand. And the first product I used, this one we used earlier, was an instant stress relief in mask. It helped to smooth wrinkles, which she have none, and hydrate the eye, delicate eye area. But you know what happened? It is really great to help to erase fatigue, puffiness. The first product I'm going to use is the Pram Lip Repair. It helps to nourish and hydrate the lips really well when you have really dry lips. And this is great for all different skin types. It can you alone or on top of your lip product already or at nighttime as a lip mask. The next product is Hydro Eye Moisturizing Emotion. This is a lightweight moisturizer that helps to fight in the side of aging. I mean, our talent today is quite young, but I mean, this eye product is really for everyone. It helps to blur and brighten the delicate area and diminish dark circle. And a lot of time you understand is that dark circle is not just because, you know, lack of sleep or anything like that. You know, for our talent today, she genetically, she have that natural under eye, just like the way I am as well. I naturally have that dark circle even when I was like 12 years old. So this is going to help to brighten up the area quite a bit. The next product is Hydra Regenetic Serum. This deliver intense hydration, revives natural production of hyaluronic acid. It's helped to increase hydration and moisture level. The best way you do, you just really press the product in like this. It's helped to increase the skin tone and texture. If you have wrinkle, you can help to smooth out the wrinkle as well. A funny story about me and Vermont is that if you never seen me use before, it's just because it's a new product to me. The brand has been around for a long, long time, but I found out about the brand is recently when I went to a dinner that put out from Instagram and shop my and in the gift bag they have a cream it's called hydra regenetic anti-aging moisturizing cream which is the product i'm using next and this is the cream right now and i have it home i didn't even use it and then i went to my dermatologist to have some skin work and then when i left she also give me a little sample of the cream is that the same cream and i thought this is just really like an instant so i asked her and she told me she was like this is a very beautiful cream it's from a brand from switzerland and she told me about that so i went home and tried them and i swear i really truly truly love the cream on myself i look it up on the website and it's actually not even their best-selling cream. Their best-selling cream is a V cream. It's more for mature skin. It's a richer cream, which is really, really beautiful as well. 
I tried the cream and I called the brand. I reached out to the brand. I said, can you send me some product? Because I really love to try their product. And here they are. And I truly love it. And I want to introduce to you guys, this product is amazing. The cream is helped to moisturize deep level of epidemics. It's helped to nourish and plumb the skin. And this is great for to prep under makeup. If you like more a richer moisturizer than this, you should try the V cream. Our talent is too young, so that's why I don't want to use the V cream. I think I'm going to try on someone who is older, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful cream. And I think it's just really gorgeous. And you can see that it's give a beautiful glow. And this is what my go-to cream right now. And it's not a new product. It's actually been around for a long time, but just because the brand, they have inspired, they have in all those like dermatologist place, they don't really do a huge marketing. So we don't really know. And I personally, like I receive PR package all the time and I never tried their product before until recently. And I did actually fell in love with it. My assistant just correct me the way I speak on the skincare products earlier. I call it Valmont. I could be wrong. So if the brand hear me saying, I apologize if I make a mistake in saying the name. Anyway, for complexion, I'm going to start with three products. The first one is the color corrector from Natasha Denona. And same as the concealer. And then the foundation I'm going to use from Rosing. Because Kami have such gorgeous skin, I don't want to use heavy foundation. That's why I use this like a lighter tinted moisturizer on the skin. And then I use concealer and a color corrector to do any pinpoint, any more coverage I want to do on top. Because I don't want to mask the whole face with like a heavy foundation. It's the waste of beautiful skin. To start, you see the color corrector here. I'm going to use a little bit under the eye area. So color corrector is something that I want to explain as well. A lot of people think if they use color corrector, they have to use an orange color corrector, you know, but you can use an orange color corrector on our talent skin. It still works, but I will use a peacher color corrector because it also helps to brighten the under eye area. You use an orange color corrector, it's still gonna cancel out the, the dark under eye here, but you don't have that brightness from the color corrector. So that's why I'm trying to brighten the under eye area as well at the same time. So that's why I use the color a little lighter and you see that it just brighten up perfectly. Cause sometimes if you look at the, the under eye like this, you just think that you, oh, I'm gonna use an orange color corrector and to cancel out the color but you're not going to get that bright net of the under eye so it's better just use a little lighter color corrector it's all personal preference you still can do the same with the orange color corrector and you see that just a little color corrector her eye area is already brightened up and also I just use a little bit around the mouth area here in this area for the rose ink skin enhancing luminous tinted serum this is more a uh, sheer and very light coverage you see that i put just a little bit and all these capsule pigment it bust when you apply and it create a natural finish so you see that that's why you see all the little bubble here as soon as you do it it just blend right out it's half skincare ingredient like sodium, hyaluronic, plant-based, squalane to add hydration. It's 
his help to smooth skin with pigment beads and this is a vegan formula as well and it's very easy to blend you see that i just do a little bit everywhere and i just blend it up you see that i keep blending just a little bit a few drops and i just blend it out it just keep a really nice beautiful finish we don't have all the shades so you see the color a little paler than our talent but you can see that it still blended really well i forgot to mention earlier about the color corrector from natasha denona i'm so glad she also came out color corrector because a lot of time we struggling to find different brand to uh, have color corrector i always use the same you know because i have one or two different brand have it and i even suggest some brand to come out and they say oh we don't really sell very well with color corrector so we don't come out and i'm glad i think like natasha came out and huda beauty just came out as well and i'm so glad because we have more choices than just like one or two brand before and this is great it's helped to even out you know all the dark spot area or redness it have very natural finish and it does have medium coverage as well and the great thing about the color corrector is that they have six shades because you know most brands they have like two shades or three shades or four shades but natasha she has six shades for concealer i use two different shades this is the concealer from natasha and the deeper shade is perfect for you know anywhere i want to pinpoint and i always use a little lighter shade just for the under eye area it's all personal preference you don't have to do the same way at all you know you can use just one shade and you can do for the whole face but i like when i do makeup i like that i have a lot of dimension so that's why i did you different shade concealer for different area and this also have a very natural finish it's medium but buildable coverage so it means you want a really full coverage you still can build them and right now you can see a lot of people love love this concealer it have this beautiful luminous finish it's gluten free and it's vegan same as the color corrector it is also vegan as well and the same lighter concealer i just do a little bit around here a little bit around the corner of the mouth and i use with a big brush like this so it's easy to blend it's concealer brush but i try to do more the bigger one like this so you can do in the bridge of the nose here and then for the deeper concealer, I'm going to pinpoint anywhere that I want to cover more. You can see a little bit here. A bit there. The reason is, I mean, I said in many videos before, is that if you use the light concealer that I use for under the eye area, you're gonna see like all the area that you cover it's gonna be just a light circle so that's why i try to use the concealer is exactly the same shade as the foundation so it's blend seamlessly together and i really love the new concealer she had it's just really beautiful and it's very great to build if you want to be heavier you can it is more hydrating it's natural finish but i feel very hydrating for contour, I'm going to use the M Cosmetic So Soft Multi Face Blade Bronze and Scope. The shade I'm using is called Nomadic. This is a very lightweight and creamy formula. You can use straight on or you can use just the way I do right now. It's just with the brush and then I just blend it out like that. It's very easy to blend. The great thing about M Cosmetic is every single product they have, it does have skincare benefit. And for this one, they have squalene, vitamin E. And the great thing you see that it's good for travel. It's a little one and the packet is very lightweight, which I like a lot. This one also gluten and cruelty free. see that little bit 
and you blend it out really well. And the thing is that like you see, when you look at the shade, you think it's too dark, but sometimes if you wanna have really nice sculpted look, you might need to shade something like that because it's blend out. When you blend it out, it look, you know, almost like nothing. So it's better just use a deeper shade. You can use the lighter shade, but you won't get the sculpted effect at all. And even the way I do contour, I never try to do like a harsh contour and everything very blended together. So even the darker color, I still like to blend and it doesn't give you a demarcation line at all. Do somewhere here. I'm gonna do a little more here. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So as you can see that even the color look pretty dark, but you see when I blend everything out, it looks seamlessly and it gives her quite a nice, you know, like a little color all around here, more dimension on the face, which I really love. And this formulation is so easy to blend. You definitely should try them. For powder, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Soft Radiant Setting Powder. The shade I'm using is light and light medium. Light, I use, you know, around the eye, all the area that I use the lighter concealer, I'm using the lighter powder as well. As I said, you don't have to use two different shades like I do you can use just one because these hair, they are pretty translucent. So even you use just one shade, you still be okay. And then I use a deeper color everywhere else. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Gucci Soleil bronzer. The shade I'm going to you is number three. But you know what happened? I know that we stopped, listed all the screen, the name of the products. It's just because, you know, most people, they watch the video on the phone, so they might not even see the name and they still DM and asking me. So keep in mind that everything we use, we listed every single product under the video description box. So you go under the video here, you see everything. Every single video, we have our team to write out every single thing. So if you cannot see in the screen, just go down on the under the video description box. And for bronzer, I'm basically, you don't need to use this step, but I used to use a bronzer to set where I use contour earlier. And you see it very gentle and you just blend it out. And you set all the area. And I find that this way, it bring back, because sometimes you use translucent powder, it take away some of the color you use from the contour. This also to bring it back and it does help to warm up the skin even more. This is beautiful natural finish. It is a long wear formula. It does have shea butter and hyaluronic acid. It's a vegan formula as well, by the way. And I mentioned in many videos before, you know, any product you use, try to do gentle like this, you know, like you apply very little. You don't want to do like this. I see even on a lot of YouTube channel, people use like this, and it doesn't matter what formulation you use, when you go really hard like that, you really ruin the product and you're really gonna dust in the product everywhere. You don't blend them very well, easy. And you just do gentle, you can do like this, and you can do like that. For eyebrow, I'm going to use these three products. I'm going to use a brow width, a brow marker, and this is brow frizz, just to set the eyebrow. So as you can see right now, Carmi have beautiful eyebrow. I mean like for someone who have brow like this, you just gel them, 
ready to go. But you know me, like I always do everything a little bit to the maximum. So it's like, you know, because the thing is I like a lot of people, you know, happy just like this. For me, I like to enhance, I like to do a little more. And for me, when I look at the eyebrow like this, I was thinking, I would say, okay, if I do the eyebrow like this, on this area, I'm gonna fill it out. And maybe use the marker, do a few individual hair, and that's just me. And then I set the eyebrow. So that's why like for you, when you do makeup on your own, you don't have to use so many products like I do. It's just because for me as a makeup artist, I always bring the best of everything could look and that's the way I do. So just don't say, oh my God, for eyebrow alone, he used three different products. I know that's a lot of common, always I use too many products, but you don't have to. You can use just one if you, you, you know, you can achieve just like that. And you see that this part right here, I filled it in a little bit. And keep in mind is that you the brown color pretty much close to her natural brown color or lighter, not too much darker because otherwise it doesn't blend very well together from other part. And you see that? And I just extend them a little more. In this way, you see the eyebrow extend a little longer, it's more lifted. So you see that I use the soft brow pencil and then now I just use a marker I don't want to cover the whole block the whole eyebrow so I just use a marker just create a few individual hair and just blend out the shape of the eyebrow I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then you use a little bit of the brow frizz to set. You see that only a little bit. You see, and then you just set the brow. For eyes, I'm going to use the three products from Claydable Beauty. This one is the eyeliner pencil. I am use two different shades. I use a black shade and a brown shade. A mascara from them. And I'm using the new Claydable Beauty Eye Color Quad. This is the new edition they have. For the eye color quad, I'm using the shade number four is Ocean Sunrise. This is a brand new formula they have. They come to 12 different quads and 48 shades. And each of the quads, they come with the bottom one like this. It's in the bouncy formula. And this is a primer. Close your eye. So a lot of us, we use a separate primer, but you can use the primer from the shadow. It does have a little sheen, just so you know. But you can use eyeshadow on top so it doesn't matter, but the primers help to bring out the color even out better, and it's helped to last longer. And for me, like I've been testing with these, for me, it's better you with a finger with a primer, you know? I'm using a little bit on the low lash line as well because I'm gonna put a shadow there. So as you all know, the Glatable Beauty is from Japan. So their color is in Japan, the cultural people like color is not so pigmented. 
you know but you still be able to build a lot so the color is very soft and more translucent but you still can really build them they come in all different shades cool neutral warm all different stories so you can get all different palette you want or you can get just one of them a dear friend of mine is he actually a color director of the brand so these are one of his creations so it came out and you can see that you can also depart them that's easy like this or you can put it back in here easy i'm going to use this palette right here i think it's the shade i'm going to use these two shades so i'm put this color all over the eyelid and if you want way more pigment deposit, you can use your fingers. But keep in mind, even if they say that the product is quite translucent, it's still really beautiful, you know? And what I love about this is that it doesn't have much fallout or barely any fallout. I mean, for me, I don't have any fallout issue at all when I apply because I'm very gentle. But with any eyeshadow, if you go really hard like this, you're still gonna have fallout. But with this formulation, um, they have more a little more satin finish. So it's actually really easy to blend for most of us. And I do a little bit on the lower lash line as well. This is such a unique shade, I love it. So you see that it's very easy to do just one chase and you know if someone who's not great at doing eyeshadow that's all you need you just do one chase and go you know and done and then next I'm gonna use this is more like a blending brush so I'm gonna use the deeper shades here remember you are a little bit at the time and close your eye for me and you do right here. A little bit on the crease area. Keep your eye closed for now. And then you do a little bit in this area here. And then you use the brush you used earlier, you soften the edge it out. You don't have to add any more color you can even use a clean brush if you like to, but I like the color already from the, this color here. And I soften the edge it out. And I'm doing is outward and upward. And then go back if you like to. And that's how I do makeup. I like to build. I do a little bit at a time. If I need more, I just build more. This color, each of the color alone, you can use, you know, just one shade. It's still very beautiful shades alone for you to use. And you see that? I just do a little more for the depth. And then you just blend it outward and upward. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So what I do next, a little bit of the color. I'm doing a little bit on the outer corner here, on the lower outer corner, and connect the dot to the other color. I'm doing the same on this side. Next, I'm going to use the brown eyeliner. You can use the black all around too, but the whole point is that I'm going to use a black eye pencil just for the flick and the brown for the rest of the eye. So I want to be very soft. 
So you see that just a little bit there. We do in the waterline as well. And this color is almost like the color of the shadow I use. So it's very subtle. And look down for me. For the under the waterline as well. And this color is very soft, which I like. It's almost just like helped you define the depth of the eye. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna do a little bit more on the inner corner. And same at this side here. And this pencil is so soft and it is moisturizing formula. On this side, you see that they have a blending tip as well. So you can use this if you wanna blend it out as well. But today I just wanna define the, the eye and I can blend alone with just the pencil. So I don't need to use the other side of the eye pencil. See that the color just soft. Be then I'm going to use the black pencil. A lot of people like to use gel liner or liquid eyeliner. Uh, it's up to you, but I'm using it's a pencil, and I find that a lot. It's more forgiving. It's more sultry. It's a lot easier for people to use when you use with a pencil. You see that I just use. And remember, I use the brow inside first because I don't want to be the whole black liner. So I just do it like this. You see, it's smudgy a little bit. And then I just blend it out. A little more from the outward, like this way. And what I love about this eye liner is that they're not overly pigmented. Because sometimes it's overly pigmented, you cannot do the soft and smudgy like what I'm doing right now. And then I get the tiny little brush and I pour it out even more. You can use the smudger in here as well, but I'm so used to you the blending brush, so I'm just doing that. Even when she have a full black liner, it's still very soft and sultry. I do smudge even more. See, you see that really sultry, really soft and beautiful. And then I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom as well. Connect the dot again, you can see that. I go connect to where I put the brown liner earlier. So it's really mainly from the outer part of the eye that I do the black liner. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Next, I'm going back to the darker color and I'm just really create that depth there. So from here, curl your lashes, put mascara, and done. You know what I mean? You can do many different ways. You can get more depth here if you like. You can play with them. You can do way more dramatic. You can go heavier on the crease. 
uh, many different options. Uh, what I love about the eyeshadow is so easy to blend. And the great thing about these pencils as well is that like they are cold pencil and it's easy to blend and easy to work as well. You see that I take my time and play with the pencil, play with the shadow, and I still able to do that. Because sometimes, you know, a long wear pencil, you can't really do much at all because one is set, you can't really blend too much. And which for me is like these nowadays, to create this look, I really need a cold pencil to really want to play along like this. So you see, I could go back and forth, I could play with them, I'm still able to do that. And then, I got that I use the brown color for the inside part so it doesn't look too harsh. Okay. I'm going to curl the lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Before adding mascara, I'm going to add some individual lashes. These lashes i'm quite excited to try it's from daniela goslin beauty she's a makeup artist from miami she actually sent me this in pr package it's called the better lash and they come in three different size it comes small medium and large the one i'm using is medium each of the side they have two different size as well so together they have six different size and i'm going to use the 10 more a few in the in the middle and then the 11 from the outside and this is very natural you can actually do on top of your lashes or on the bottom lashes it does have a glue come back with that and you can actually apply mascara with it which i like because you know some lashes that you do from the under you can't really apply mascara as you can see this coming cluster like this so i'm gonna apply off camera and i'll be right back I really like the lashes. I tried to put it on top of the lashes, but I think I would like to try to put it under as well. And what I like about this is that you can put mascara, which is great. And the mascara I'm using is also from Clitopal. This one is give volume, lengthen, separate it, and curl the lashes all the same time. And it waterproof and smudge proof let's see look up for me i put some on the lower lashes as well for blush i'm going to use this new color from Duo Rosy Glow Blush. This, I think, is the new shade they have. I received in PR package, but they broke already, so I just have to be very careful. It's come out everywhere. I love this shade very much. It's broken, but I didn't want to throw it out yet, so I, I want to use it to the end. And I think this color is really beautiful. It's called Rose Wood, and it's natural finish. It's gluing and paraben free. You said that this is such a gorgeous color. And as you can see, I keep the blush more in the higher blush and that's that low. So I apply mainly on the higher cheekbone here. I'm going to do the same on the side. For highlighter, I'm going to use Lancome Dual Finish Powder Highlighter. The shade I'm using is called Radiant Rose Gold. I love these creamy powder highlighter it's wet and dry formula so you want to use you can use like with a wet brush you can get really more luminous and really highlighting color or I use dry today so you see that the color is really beautiful you can custom the intensity it's up to you it does have vitamin E This is cruelty free as well. And what I'm gonna do right now, you see right near the um, brow bone, I just do a little quick like that. So let's give a little highlight. 
there as well. For lips, I'm going to use two products. The first product I'm using is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Lip Liner. The shade is called Parchment. And the second product I'm using is the Glossier G Suit Soft Touch Lip Cream. I think this is a new product they have. I get in the PR package. Just so you know, I purposely chose the shade is very different from each other. This color is more like a pinky, peachy color. And this is completely different. This is like a brown liner. And I'm just really just you to scope the, the shape, the lips, and then I just use the lipstick on top of that. And this is more like a cold liner. So you can really blend it out as well. I'm not gonna go like full on lip liner and lipstick. So I'm just gonna really just create a shape and I blend it out. And then I put the lipstick on top. And this formula is cold but long wear. So you're still able to blend them pretty well. It's matte finish and it is gluten free. You see right now, I just create a shape. And then I use a blending brush and I blend out the edges. You can even use a really deep lip liner if you want that like 90 uh, feeling the lips. But I just want to use this color and then just the lips color compromise each other the two shades I'm using. I blend it out. Kami have really beautiful lip shape, so I just don't want to like overdraw anything at all. I just do the shape of her natural lips and I just, you know, just blend the shades out. So this is the Demi Lip Cream. It's very smooth. It is full coverage. If you apply to the applicator that come with, it gives you more like a velvety matte finish. But I'm gonna do more like a sheer, not too heavy coated lipstick. It does have raspberry seed oil. It's really hydrating. This is also a vegan formula. See, that's quite beautiful. I know they say this is like more like a demi matte, but for me, it's considered this matte finish. So if you want like a soft, velvety matte lipstick, this would be a great formulation for you. To bring back some hydration on the face, because I powder and everything a lot, I'm gonna use some Lamont Pramine with a hydration fluid, moisturizing Pramine Mist. This is great for you to you throughout the day if you like to. It soften and hydrate the skin. And you can use as a makeup setting or as to fresh up throughout the day. That is the final look guy. I hope you enjoy the look and you know thank you Dawson so much for the beautiful outfitless hair today. And thank you so much for coming to the channel. I know we have so much fun that we run really late today on our schedule and um, i hope everyone like the look and keep the channel always a lot of love subscribe to the channel give the video a thumb up share with the video and if you haven't subscribed please do and don't forget to follow 
call me, my team and I on Instagram as well. We are professional workings. We have a lot of content. You will love it at there as well. Thank you.